Welcome back to another adventure, guys. We are out doing an explore. If you know where this random pay machine is, then you know where what we're getting up to for this video. So let me uh, figure out what we're doing here and uh, we'll check in. But again, yeah, just uh, paying in the middle of nowhere. So, all right, we got our ticket. We're good to 8 p.m. tonight. $30 to park with launch. So, all right, guys, let's head down to the launch. We're going to try and take the switch out today, see if we can get out on the water. So, let's see what we can find. All right, guys, we're out on the water. It's a bit cloudy today. Just launched out of Dyer's Bay. We're out on the switch today, and we're going to try and go up towards Tobamori or at least into the National Park and look at some of the uh, cliffs and scenery there. So, I think we're going to head that way to the point i think once we get around the point we should be out of these swells here and the wind should be pretty good so let's get going so we're so we're on the switch today got a little cooler some gas just me again so got the gps going so let's put her in gear i'm gonna probably trim it uh, let's trim it to neutral and what we're gonna do is uh there's not much along this way so i think we'll punch punch for a bit and once we get around to the point there maybe towards Winfield Basin we'll check in and go from there so all right guys let's let's get started here but this is the lovely little sleepy town of Dyers Bay so, all right let's go than you do on a sea do sometimes. Wow. I'm hoping we get away from these waves. Otherwise this is gonna really suck. I already got bad clouds so right here uh, that you can get into and it's a nice harbor to be safe from uh, weather. <laughs> Speaking of which, that doesn't look great ahead of us, which was not in the forecast. It is said light clouds. So I'm going to pass Wingfield for now. We should be getting around the wind and the waves should be getting a little bit better. Going back is going to be fun uh, around the point there, but adventure right so let's see what we can do before it gets too crazy all right uh, you can see it's starting to calm down here because the wind is coming off the shore now uh, and we're kind of looping behind so what if I can so the wind I don't know if you guys can see this it's still bumpy the wind is going that way this so along the peninsula once we get behind these rocks, which is right here, we should be out of the wind. But uh, I don't know about that shower up ahead or whatever that is. So, all right, let's uh, see what we find.
<clears throat> honestly this is the reason why you come up here is these beautiful turquoise waters the cliffs these little bays in here uh, do I wish do I wish the Sun was out of course I do that would have been nice but hey take what we can get so what I think I'm gonna do as you can see it's kind of calm down here as we walk around back it's calm down here a little bit because the wind should be coming off the cliff uh, to give us a little bit of protection so what I think is I'm gonna just try and go as far as I can uh, while the weather is cooperating shall we say so all right guys whoopsie but look at the size of this rock here that fell from up there somewhere and rolled down a long time ago but you see how there's this little inlet here uh, just so good to snorkel around here and uh, you can see huge rocks down in the water as well so that's why I again why I prefer it to be sunny you can see better into the water so I'm staying a little bit further away than I would normally on like the sea view when I'm here and we can get really close just because I can't really see too well with this light so all right let's keep going This should be the beginning of Cave Point. But again, super deep, but look at the size of the rocks. Incredible. This guy's owning the island. Look at it. What up there, buddy? 
Okay, sorry. Oh. Again, super deep. I keep saying super deep. So there's a cave in there. Caves here. Don't want to hit that with the boat. Or this one. Look at this. What they don't tell you about is the flies. Oh my goodness, they are brutal. And they are biting. Oh. This is a visit, not a stay kind of situation. <laughs> oh wow, look at that one. Thread the gap, thread the gap. Nice. But you can see even more caves in throughout here. Let's see if we can get, and then this is supposed to be the, that's the main one there. There's a bird. Let's see how close we can get. So, oh, he pooped. Hmm. All right. So. Look at all the flies, oh my gosh. Do we get off or not? I don't know, the flies are brutal. Maybe we just do drone. But, all right, let's see what we do. Hold on a second, guys. Well, we did it. Look at that. We're able to get off and into the site. Not really any good way to tie up though, but it's okay. We're not staying long. Yeah. Made it into the cave on a switch. How about that, guys? <laughs> There's a photo op. There we go, all tied up. Switch is there. We're into a cave. Well, an overhang. Hopefully, nothing will fall on us. And we're only staying as long as these mosquito, nope, flies, whatever they are, don't bother. You can hear water dripping through it. There she is. You can see the, the, this all falls off from up there. You can see white spots where it's broken off probably. Not so likely around this time of year. More when the ice is formed. It freezes the rock and expands it. And there's the switch down there. Us up here. Trees there. Nice. Ooh. It's dead quiet. An absolutely stunning view. Amazing. Oh, don't trip and fall now. But again, this is, I, I keep saying it, but if you're coming here, you wanna come when the water is calm. So luckily the wind is blowing pretty good, but it's blowing off shore here. So you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's a ripple further out. But nothing right while you're near the shore, so. Makes it the best time to come up and check out Tobemore. So you can actually get off and do exploring of these amazing caves that I'm climbing up, because I don't know why. There, we well, made it. What a view. What an absolute beauty of a view. Oh, wow. This is why we come out and explore, guys, to see this kind of beauty. I don't know if 
will show it there, but you can see water dripping off. That's why you're able to have so much growth here. Okay, let's keep this venture going. The real question would be is, does he make it down in one piece without killing himself? Possibly. So far, so good. He's old, but he's still got it. He can climb rocks. Watch, I do something stupid now. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I didn't do anything stupid there. That was just classy. The other thing is you have no idea if the rock's gonna move on you or not. Riveting content, I understand. I guarantee a bulk of this is gonna be cut out, but that's okay. Or you get if you get an east wind and waves would be coming up in here, and that's how you get the erosion of those little pockets along the limestone here. Science with Mark. Erosion. All right, let's take from my little handy dandy tie spot, and with the beauty of the switch, we just walk right on. <laughs> and then I usually. Edit that out. Handy switch door closing. Yeah, look at that. Avoid that rock. Look at all the flies. Good God. All right, guys, let's punch out of here. Turn. Creep our way back out. Huh. Amazing. Worth it every time. Now let's keep going. Oh gosh, these flies are brutal. Let's keep going. Let's see how far we can get. Absolutely beautiful.
Oh, these flies are brutal. Hope you enjoyed that drone footage. That was absolutely amazing. All right, guys, let's try to make our way up to Indian Head Cove in the grotto, and then uh, we'll make a decision from there. All right, let's go. Oh, wow, I love it. Whee! I love it. Up on plane like that. I bet you that piece fell right out. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna keep punching. Let's get going. So crazy about this is it's so deep right there so let's go see all the tourists see how they're doing and you get all these cool erosion and caves in here let's see if we can go in the cave Into the little cave with a switch. Ta -da, look at that. Right, let's get out before the bats get us. This is that the famous tourist spot, Indian Head Grove. So you, I think you have to buy tickets to get in here now or whatever used to be free and the amount of people was just ridiculous and there's a little cave in there Let's see if we can get into it hello I like the bathtub right there If you can walk to it, you can get there. <laughs> but again, very deep. And there's a little roof up in it. But let's go around and see if we can see in the grotto. Leave all these wonderful people. jumping in. So this is it. You can see you can walk all the way around and get shots if you don't want to climb down. But if you're brave enough to climb down, you get to go and explore it. So alright guys, so let's head out. Very cool. There's like mini grottos right there. You could like walk around to that and go swimming. That'd be fun to swim in. Again, this place would be amazing. I, I want to come back in August, anchor the boat. Just like, we could just anchor right here. 
and spend the day and not have to pay. <laughs> All right, guys, so maybe, maybe we try to punch over to Flower Pot Island. Well, the winds don't seem outrageous at this moment, so maybe we'll make a quick run to Flower Pot now that I've made it out here. Quick run to Flower Pot and then start making our way back. Uh, call it a day so yeah let's see if we can make it we can make it if not we'll turn around and come back so all right guys let's get going